But over the past hour or so, we've had this pretty strong line of showers and thunderstorms start to develop, and that actually triggered a severe thunderstorm warning for Delaware and Otsego counties where those snow showers are centered this morning and that's leading to some very low visibilities right along Interstate 81. We actually have some southerly flow bringing in some much warmer air. Our temperatures are going to be well above average. So throughout the day on Christmas Eve, we'll see some pretty steady rainfall, even heavy at times in those darker greens and yellows that you see. But then behind that front, some much cooler air is going to make its way in, dropping our temperatures drastically and changing over that rain to some snowfall. You can see See exactly when that cold front moves through. Temperatures off to the east in Delaware and Otsego counties still into the 50s, while off to the west, temperatures already dropping down into the 30s. All that rain that we're going to see tomorrow is actually coming from Hurricane Zeta, which made landfall just a few minutes ago along the Louisiana coast. We're about 20 to 25 degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday. So finally, we're seeing a little bit of a warm up. Tornado threat is not zero for tomorrow, so that's something we're going to be keeping a very close eye on. In southeastern Broome County and much of Delaware. County seeing some pretty heavy downpours. The storm is over, but we could see a few more snow showers overnight before we see a big warm up tonight. We'll tell you how to clean up safely and what you can expect over the next seven days. What with the hot temperatures we had this weekend, that amount of ice cream probably would be fantastic, huh, Caitlin? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a great weekend to get some ice cream, but you're going to have to eat it fast because it's going to be a hot one. Once that front passes through, we see some cooler temperatures and some cooler dew points. And although we aren't going to see too much snow from this system through Wednesday afternoon, Still a couple things to keep an eye out for. This is Storm Track 12. While we are seeing a few snow showers today, all eyes are on that storm for the midweek, which we'll get to in a little bit. But here's a look at what we're seeing on satellite and radar right now. We are going to deal with a few lake effect snow showers as we head through the rest of the evening and throughout tonight as well. In terms of accumulations, really not going to see much at all, but something to be aware of if you're heading out on the roads for tonight. But here's a look at temperatures across the area. Certainly very chilly out there in the 30s. Oneonta at 30 degrees. Sydney is at 34. Norwich at 36 degrees. Binghamton at 31. And Ithaca is at 33 degrees. So we will see a few of those lake effect snow showers as we head throughout the night tonight. And a few flurries may linger into tomorrow morning as well. Going to be a cold and breezy day tomorrow too. But we are really focusing on that potent, that storm potential for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So we do have that winter storm watch in effect for a few of our counties in northeastern Pennsylvania, including Broome, Tioga and Delaware County as well. So here's what we're really looking at for that midweek storm. Starting out the day on Wednesday, things look to be good. That snow isn't going to move in until later in the day on Wednesday, and that's when travel is going to get really tricky and really going to start deteriorating overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. It looks like most of us are going to be seeing some heavy and plowable snowfall, but it will come to an end by midday on Thursday. So here's a look at future track heading into Wednesday. Starting out the day, things are good. We're staying mostly cloudy, but it's not until the afternoon. Here's Wednesday right around three or four o'clock. That snow is starting to move in from the west and then by about six or seven o'clock coming home from work, we're going to start seeing some of that snowfall and the heaviest snow will come overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. Still seeing quite a bit of snowfall by about 7 o'clock Thursday morning, but like I said, that is going to move out of the area by about lunchtime on Thursday. So there is a little bit of uncertainty still with this storm. If it moves a little bit north or a little bit south, that is going to impact how much snow we see here. So here's what we're thinking in terms of totals for heaviest snow to lightest snow. That heaviest snow is really going to be focused in northeastern Pennsylvania. We're still seeing some heavy snow in and around Binghamton, but it looks like most of us will be seeing that plowable snowfall. Then as you head north, those totals will start to decrease, but there is going to be that sharp cutoff in snowfall totals for that storm Wednesday into Thursday, especially if that track does move a little bit north or a little bit south. But focusing on tonight, we are going to see a few lake effect snow showers over the next couple hours and throughout the rest of the night tonight, tomorrow morning. Five, six, seven o'clock, still seeing a couple flurries and maybe a snow shower or two. But then tomorrow, weather really stays quiet throughout the day tomorrow. Then we'll see a little bit more cloud cover build back in ahead of that storm on Wednesday. So for tonight, we're looking at a low temperature of 22 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and a few passing snow showers. Range of temperatures 19 to 25 degrees. Going to be very breezy as well tonight. Winds from the northwest at 11 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Chance of a flurry to start the day tomorrow. Then we're looking at that storm potential Wednesday into Thursday. Then we really start clearing out heading into the weekend. Temperatures still in the 20s for Friday. 
Then a little bit more cloud cover builds in heading into the weekend and we do bring in a slight chance for a few rain or snow showers on Sunday.